Richard Reed here. I want to thank you for joining us. And hey, grab a pen and paper. You'll want to make some notes as we go through the process. I want to share four simple strategies that you can implement to find a buyer to work with today. I'll wait a second so you can grab a pen. Okay, imagine this scenario. What if you were able to generate clients at will? And what if the clients were waiting for you rather than you waiting for them? And what if you were the trusted expert in your preferred market? Sound like a stretch? I used to think so too, until it happened to me. In five years, I went from generating $0 in commission to over $500,000 in a single 12 month period. And all of the educational material I create in processes and packages like this is a result of real world experience by me. The thing that got me there was not depending on those I already knew to drive my business. I'm not saying that you shouldn't work your sphere of influence. On the contrary, I am saying that you can and should adjust your sphere to serve your goals daily. Everyone knows that you need buyers to close deals. And if you know how to tap buyers at will, you control your income. And in order to do this right, you need to follow a proven formula. In fact, if you're trying to tap the market now and you aren't getting the desired results, there are likely a few tricks that will make all the difference for you. And it has nothing to do with knowing everything about the market or what you posted to Facebook or how many blog entries you wrote. Because at the end of the day, it's not about you. It's about the buyer. And there's a formula for positioning yourself. Here it is. Your prospects will believe you actually work as an agent if they see you working. Demonstrating this online is generally done in the form of paid advertising, but we don't want to go there today. Today I want to share with you a few things that you can do for free to get you started. You can demonstrate that you are more in touch with the market by simply previewing homes. And as you preview those properties, be mindful of the surroundings. Meet the neighbors as you look at a home or house and gain the market knowledge that you're going to um, that's going to be present simply by looking at the properties but also engage the people that you encounter if you're talking to the person next door to somebody walking your dog walking their dog they're going to tell you things about that house about that neighborhood about that community that you're not going to get anywhere else or in any system and simply the fact that you're there and talking about the fact that you're previewing property is going to put you a notch above what they expect from most realtors so you're going to start to demonstrate value and differentiate yourself simply by the fact that you're there if you go to look at condo buildings, then get to know the staff as you preview the building. Um, you're gonna encounter concierge resources and doormen and maintenance staff. Uh, those people know the residents of that building more than most people around and you can get them to refer you business. As a bonus, if you wanna differentiate yourself, you can take them a treat. Only do that if it feels genuine to you and stay within the current you know, laws and guidelines in your state. I'm talking about you know, a cookie or a donut or a cup of coffee here, not something that's gonna uh, violate uh, the, the laws in your, in your jurisdiction. As you, another thing that you can do is, is if you're um, looking to be in a local you know, coffee shop or a restaurant where you know, people that are in the market that you wanna serve are likely to, to congregate, do something as simple as wear your name badge or your realtor pin. Um, work on a property analysis openly and conspicuously. People are nosy. They're going to want to know what you're working on. And you'll be surprised how many people are willing to engage and talk about real estate. Everybody lives in real estate, even if they're just renting right now. So it's a relevant topic and it's easy for them to have some context for the discussion. Another thing that you can do is you can ask a successful listing agent if you can hold an open house for them. Many aren't going to want to hold an open house on their own or they're going to have multiple properties they have listed and they can only hold an open house at one any given week themselves. If they don't have a staff, they're likely to agree to let you, you know, do an open house for them at one of their listings. 
one of the things that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to agree to offer a certain percentage of the commission on your uh, on any deals from leads generated at their listing to them and how much you offer them might be is, is likely to change based on whether they're doing advertising to drive people to you at that open house or whether you're driving the people in the and in the interest of the on the property for that open house uh, just make sure that whatever it is you're going to work it out in advance another thing that you can do is you can engage a charity that you're passionate about you know, sharing what you do in the course of conversation is natural, and it is going to open doors for you. People trust those they bond with over common interests, and so it's an it's an easy way to establish rapport with somebody and to to be at a higher level of engagement with them than if you simply, you know, walked up to them and started talking about real estate immediately. People are also overwhelmingly likely to use the first real estate agent they meet. I think that National Association of Realtors statistic is something like 80% of the people out there use the first realtor that they engage. And so don't be afraid to meet people. And when you meet them, don't be afraid to ask them a question. But don't beat them over the head asking them to buy or sell right now. Do something non-confrontational, like discuss a property that you previewed today, or ask them if they've seen a recent article about local real, the local real estate market, or a national news, you know, newscast that might have been on the topic of real estate. Taking something simple like that and bringing it down to the local level can really demonstrate your value and your ability to help them in the market. Whatever it is, be a resource. Let them know that they can count on you for the local scoop a mortgage question or a handyman, whatever it is, the trick is to get engaged and to gain insights into what they want. There's some simple tricks for how to do that, but essentially you're going to want to become their resource. If you become their resource for anything to do with real estate as a topic, then they're going to feed you business and not just their own business, but the business of their friends and their colleagues as well. If you demonstrate that you're working in the field and that you can solve problems, then you will generate a client base that can generate substantial wealth for you. Now, don't forget to capture the contact information for those that you meet and give your card to everybody. Connect with those that you've met, or more importantly, reconnect with those that you've met when you have something of value to add. Whenever it is that you're gonna call somebody, don't just make something up, but be genuine. Talk to them about something that is of common interest, if it was around the charity, or that's relevant to their neighborhood or their home, something that you, you know, connected on when you were together, or talk to them about something that's affecting the value of their property, that's a, you know, a change that's coming, whether it be a new build project, or a condo tower that's going up, or some legislation that's in place, or that's being proposed. Make it genuine and make it real, and if you do that, then they're going to value your insights and they're going to be likely to engage you and and have a positive um, uh, outlook on, on your connection uh, each and every time that you get together. Following this process will generate a wealth of clients, especially if you follow it consistently. Okay, now we attacked this particular problem first because the first thing that people think about when they enter the real estate market or when things slow down is that they've got to meet people in order to, or that they've got to connect with somebody in order to, to be able to do business. And that's true. You've got to have somebody to work with in order to, uh, to close a deal. But once you get somebody to work with, uh, we want to make sure that you know how to successfully close a deal with that client. Um, so you're not having to meet tons and tons of people in order to close deals, but you can meet relatively few people and close a high percentage of them. And the way that you're gonna do that is by thinking about every client interaction with a purpose. You're gonna to wanna to make a sale when you get together with them to qualify them, to solidify the relationship, to get a referral, whatever it is, don't be afraid to ask for it. And establish the goal in the context of where they are in their process. Um, they could be in the process of buying, of selling, or just of owning or renting a property. And you wanna make sure that whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish um, is set properly within that context and, and explain why it makes sense. As long as you clarify why it's the right next step, 
then they're likely to engage with you and to, to respect you as a professional in this particular field. And this formula has helped me sell over $30 million in real estate. And now that you know how to secure a client, I'm gonna share with you exactly how to keep them and build an insane business of repeat and referral customers. I call this program the ultimate buyer's agent blueprint. And the mindset that you need, we're, we're gonna cover the mindset that you need to approach clients um, as the first module in this uh, in this particular series. And you know that's one of the things that people panic about is when they start to get together with people, they're not quite sure how to set expectations or how to engage the people as, as they need to work through the process of buying or selling a home. And we're gonna talk about how to set the initial meeting up and where that should be. We're gonna talk about what to do with the client when you have your first appointment and understanding key mortgage and finance questions and how to take some fear out of this process and, uh, and make sure that you're really delivering uh, on some value that's gonna take time out of the process both for you and for them. Uh, we're gonna make, wanna make sure that you leverage partners and vendors as we engage, because you're not gonna be the expert at everything in a real estate transaction. You're not a lender, typically. You're not a home inspector, typically. Um, but you're going to leverage other experts as you go through the process. So it's appropriate to set up an expectation that there's a panel of experts that are gonna be a part of the home buying process. You're more the facilitator for the things that you're not an expert at, uh, but you have appropriate people in, in, uh, and partners to work with as your clients as you go through the process. And if you don't, we walk you through how to set that up. We're gonna talk about how to show a property, and, and we do this in a rather unconventional way, but it delivers value and builds rapport at every single property that we go through. And we're gonna talk about negotiation strategies. This is a daunting task and, and, um, and subject for a lot of people, but we really talk about how to make win-win scenarios that are gonna create great value for your customers uh, and that are going to do it with the least amount of pain to uh, the seller in this particular case in the in the process, so it really does uh, present a win-win scenario and allows you to deliver the best results for your client. And we're going to talk to you about how to systematize this formula in order to enable you to make more money. Now, everybody loves to you know fulfill their clients' dreams and to you know, help people get to the next stage or find a home to, to raise a family in or whatever the case may be. But we're all doing this for a living too. And so we've got to be able to make money as a part of the process. And as a part of this entire package, we're going to offer this today to you for one simple payment of $497. Now, I want to share with you that I started in real estate or started over in real estate in 2010. And in 2015, I generated over $500,000 in gross commission. That's more than 10 times the average agent. And at first, I resisted the industry as a whole because the reputation was so bad. But then I decided to establish an entirely new level of service and training in the industry. And this is the first time that I'm sharing this system with agents that are outside of my company or those that I've masterminded with. I've paid hundreds of thousands of dollars for some of the best training and coaching in the industry, and it doesn't provide near the level of insight that I'm offering to you here. This system has taken me from generating 90% of my business from purchased internet leads to 90% of my business being repeat and referral customers who are dying to work with me. The result, I did more than double the business of an average agent in the first year um, that I, I in two, back in 2010, and I doubled my business every year after that for three years, and then I've continued to grow my business by over 50% since then while opening an office and diverting energy to projects such as creating this training product for you. Now, I don't want you to be an ordinary agent out there struggling to make $45,000 a year. I want you to be an extraordinary agent helping clients realize their dreams and generating the income and the life that you deserve. I'm sharing this process that I've used to help hundreds of clients with you, but it gets better. I'm doing it with zero risk for you. You love it or you keep it for free. The price is normally $997, but today I'm offering it 
as a special launch for just $497. If you claim your copy now, you can save over 50%. And with the discount and the love it or keep it for free guarantee, you cannot lose. If you buy this product and you try it and you're not satisfied or you don't think it's going to help you, simply reach out to us and we will refund all of your money. You keep the product. Click the button below and get started today. Don't delay. Live the life that you deserve.